Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Jordan here. Recently, we paired up with Made With Bricks, who is a rebrickable designer who's designed a new castle. It looks pretty awesome. It's known as the Black Falcon Knight's Castle. Now, in order to build one of these, the first thing that you need to do is part out not one, not two, but three of the LEGO Creator 3-in-1 Medieval Castles. So that's what we're gonna be doing today here in this video. Ugh! Castle number one. Ugh! Castle number two. And castle number three. That's a lot of parts. It's time to get all these bags sorted. Each one of these sets contains 1,426 pieces. So based on my swift calculations, there are 4,278 pieces divided among all of these bags here. Each one comes with an additional large plate right there and seven building stages. So Mrs. Brixie and I, we've got a lot of work ahead of us because we got to sort all of these by part type. Let's get started. Well, that really wasn't too bad. I think it took Jose and I, I don't know, what, an hour and 20, Jose? Maybe an hour? Tico was there. He was helping us. Yeah, but uh, we've got it all sorted by part type. Like always, plates, smaller plates, uh, bricks, larger bricks, slopes, uh, arches, inverted slopes, doors and stuff like that, circular pieces, corner bricks, cheese wedges, plants, uh, large panels, Minifigs and minifig accessories, tiles, jumpers, one by one bricks, uh, cylinders, there's a lot of them, and uh, all sorts of connectors and stuff like that. So pretty basic sort. Uh, let's have a look at that medieval area and uh, sort of get a vision for what we're gonna do down there and place the new Lion Knight's Castle. Because as you can see down here has just sort of become an absolute horde. I've got just a plethora, okay, Luna, move. Yeah, yeah, and there's the Daily Bugle. But I've got a plethora of uh, minifigures down here that we're actually auctioning off on Whatnot. So if you don't follow me on Whatnot, make sure you do that. Uh, but yeah, obviously all of these have got to move and we've got to come up with an actual placement for the new Lion Knight's Castle, which is just like throwing over here. Clearly that's not where it's gonna go. So we've got to sort of figure it out a little bit down here. Also, I'm gonna pull out my uh, Medieval jousting set that was sent to us by Purple Cat. Thank you so much. And we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do down here. Maybe even start laying some like blue plate for like a creek or something like that that's gonna run through this area here. Pretty excited to get started and continue with this project today. And clearly so is my cat. Very exciting stuff. All right, let's do it. All right, so my mess of a Lego room here. Dragons besides Star Destroyers is becoming even more messy. <laughs> no, it's not too bad. I'm just joking. But we keep uh, progressing a little bit each day with our project. So this is what we've done under here so far. I've uh, located our army of castle minifigures. Just got to get under here. But yeah, look at that. We've got all our Black Balkan Knights, Dragon Knights, Lion Knights, Dragons. Wingless dragons, skeletons, blacksmiths, <laughs> old school knights, horses, and there's all the uh, minifigures from the jousting set. And there's the jousting set right there. So we're going to be building this eventually. This, oh, just hit my head. <laughs> I got to watch myself going under there. But this set looks wicked. I love those horses, like their armor is just incredible. And we're going to be building that relatively soon and we're going to be putting it I think over there I don't know oh yeah and there's the uh, lion knight's castle right there but I think the idea is actually to make this a little bit more than what it actually is 
So I want to make it like a game, like, sort of like a games area. Have like sword fighting and jousting and markets and stuff like that. Almost like a tournament of some sort and have it over there. I think that's where it's going to go. Outside the Lion Knight's castle and beside that Black Vulcan Knight's castle. And then of course, we parted out all those parts, right? So we've got to build another Black Vulcan Knight castle. And that's probably going to go, I don't know, right there maybe? Haven't quite decided yet. Also, we have the blacksmith down here. And uh, there is a lot of different rebrickable models that you can do with using that blacksmith. So probably eventually we'll get another blacksmith of some sort. And I don't know what we're going to do with our water yet. I was thinking maybe the water would come in back here, pool around this to make sense with like the moat that goes around that castle and then sort of run like a river, meet up with right there and then come out there. I don't know. I don't really want to start laying like I, I know I said I was going to start laying blue plate, but I don't really want to do that until I know or until I have all of my buildings constructed like the blacksmith and also the Black Falcon Knight's castle from Rebrickable. So we've got to get that all figured out. But yeah, I never knew I had this many minifigures. Obviously, now we've had six of the three in one sets. So that's where the majority of them come from. Also, we have two of this cla classic uh, set right there. So you can see we got some rad minifigures right there from those sets as well. And that's sort of what I'm thinking. Medieval games over there, other Black Falcon Knight Castle there, maybe a creek running through, uh, and we'll have like uh, all sorts of cool stuff happening. Maybe grab another one of these sets and do some cool stuff. And then, of course, we're going to have to create uh, more things, more landscaping, trees, all that stuff. Like, obviously, there's a ton of work that needs to happen under here, and it's a huge project, but sort of still developing a plan for that uh, because we've got some other things that we've got to do in the Lego room as well. We're going to be uh, making this campground even better soon. We're going to be building more trees, and we're going to be adding just a little bit of plate uh, on top here, probably coming up another brick, making some hills and everything like that. We're going to build a bridge going over uh, the creek toward the... Uh, Treehouse, uh, we've got to work on the Ninjago area. We've got to widen the sidewalk here. Also, uh, we've got a place to set right over there because we actually just finished building a new set for the Ninjago area. Let's have a quick look at that as well today in this video. So this is the Ninjago Ninja Dojo Temple with 1,394 pieces. It comes with a ton of minifigures, which is pretty cool. We got uh, a whole bunch of ninjas and some really cool like serpent like antagonists from Ninjago. We've got uh, Cobra mechanic right there. And then over here in this really cool vehicle, they've got Boa Deconstructor. Also this mech right here for the ninjas. But these minifigures are pretty cool and they come with a lot of weapons. This set in general comes with a ton of like swords. These are all spares. I can't believe it. That's so many spares. And of course they're sort of all over this temple here that has some crazy building techniques that I really do enjoy, such as that staircase right there. That's so amazing. Also, this staircase right here is built using red roller coaster track. Goes out to like this little island here, which sort of just feels like an addition that you don't really need, in my opinion. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be using that when we place this in the Lego City, but we're for sure obviously going to be placing this in the city with that Ninjago area. And I think it's going to look pretty good in the corner there. However, it is pretty wide. We're going to test fit it in the city today. But just like all of these angles and everything uh, that are created using all of these unique parts and stuff like that uh, really come together nicely here with this uh, temple for sure. I've eyed this up for so long, so I'm really happy to finally have it. It does have an open back. And of course, these doors will swing open right there. And the doors have uh, ninja star handles, which is pretty neat. And then it's just sort of an open back. You can see right through it. But yeah, like this staircase is crazy. We've got some awesome angles and everything with the roof panels. And just the way it all came together with the rock work on the bottom here was fantastic. Let's flip it around here. Actually, before we do that, I got to show you this vehicle here and the fact that it's got a really cool play function. Uh, you can actually ram this vehicle up against there. And then that wall is going to break down. So it's got two panels that broke off. And then there's some studs that were just held up here. So there's like shrapnel that flies everywhere. So that's a pretty cool little play feature there for sure. And this vehicle is a little bit different. I'm not sure if we're going to have that rolling around the city or not. All right, so the backside's got some pretty decent uh, detail. Like I said, there's weapons just all over the place. Like 
they're just mounted to the wall everywhere and there's actually more clips that are available so you can mount even more weapons in here but there's all sorts of gold swords and stuff like that just everywhere i like this sticker detail here there's like a spilt copy uh so that's tipped over there they use one of those minifig pieces there that you would make it look like your minifigures jumping or flying but it's spilt onto that sticker element this actually has like a coffee stain on it that's not my coffee but yeah it's pretty cool and then down here there's like a base that can flip out and this is for the mech control i believe so pretty cool little base and then there's just some details and stuff in there but there are weapons absolutely all over this thing there's some interesting sticker elements obviously the main thrill of it for me is uh the front portion of the build it just looks really good and i think it'll look fantastic in that area of the lego city so let's go test it out we've definitely got some work to do folks yeah i'm not sure if that's going to be its final home and obviously we've got to build some sort of platform for it get it up off the ground uh similar to our other temple over here not that tall though we don't need it to be that tall but maybe we can run some rocks around the back here like we've been planning to do and somehow get that up off the ground or maybe we can just make it work right there. I don't know. Maybe we just need to make it uh, sort of a rugged terrain back there, just coming up off the water, and we can make that work possibly. We did recently move this uh, treehouse right there, but as you can see, the treehouse does have a little bit of room. It can move to the left a little bit, giving the Ninjago Temple a little bit more space. But for sure, a pretty cool set. I like it. I think it matches the vibe of this area, and we'll definitely put it over there somewhere. Just got to figure out how we're going to do it. So the next thing that we're going to be working on in the LIGO City, unfortunately, is not going to be this area over here yeah we're going to leave that for a little bit we're actually going to continue working on our campground because this thing's on the verge of being done once again just got to build some hills add some more trees and stuff like that everybody we hope you enjoyed our video make sure you stay tuned for the build of the new medieval black falcon knights castle that we're going to be building relatively soon using all of these parts over there in our messy studio but all of those parts are going to be turned into a new castle relatively soon. Let us know what you think by commenting below. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. Everybody, farewell and have yourselves a wonderful day. And what do you think of that new temple? Pretty good spot for it, but we've got a lot of work to do. Farewell.